Welcome back family, friends, and today I have a trade package from Mike Tapp, or Angry Unboxing Nerd. We did a little trade, I saw somebody posted on one of the Facebook groups we were in, I think it might have been one of the horror groups, I can't remember the name, I've had so many, but he posted some, it was cool, and I was like, you know, would you like to trade for that? And he was like, yeah, sure, why not? So, he sent me a box here and I have my trade going out to him very soon so y'all check his channel I'll put the link in the description angry unboxing nerd he's been on YouTube for a good little while he's I don't want to say he's new but he's been on YouTube um, not quite as long as us but he's 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 doing good stuff over there go check him out and there's my flying monster knife I got the other day I'm gonna open this box out idea what's in this box I'm not quite sure he said he threw in some extra stuff you didn't have to do that but I appreciate it and didn't do a good job with the knife so back with the knife and I think we got it this time so we'll put the flying monster away until next time <laughs> check it out a lot of Ghostbuster goodies in here, so yeah, my cup of tea. All right, here's the the Rocky Davis print of Slimer. They came in the '80s band box. It was a couple months ago, and I have that one right up there. Is the uh, Slimer drinking the Ecto Cooler? I don't know if y'all can see it, but he's drinking the Ecto Cooler. In this one, he's not. He's just chilling out in the picture and it's still a great print and I'm gonna hang that one up there right beside it I think get another frame and I'll put it over here on the other side of, with the, of the Ecto-1 picture and I think that'll look pretty cool a good set up there two Rocky Davis prints on the wall there thank you very much for that Mike look at this here <laughs> he said his daughter threw in some uh, Ghostbuster decorations look at that I got a state puff, I like a little decoration to put on the wall. It's pretty cool. <laughs> I like that. I like it. We got a state puff. Good old No Ghost logo there. It's like little cutouts. Find something to do with these. I like them. And got one of good old Glutton himself. Slimer. Look at that. It's our great little, little, I don't know, it's just like a little printout. You can stick on the wall here somewhere. I think maybe I can uh, stick them in the book, inside the bookshelf here somewhere with all the Ghostbuster stuff. Now, this is what he was trading for, and this looks amazing, Mike. I really appreciate it. If I can get it out of the box here, it's kind of really tucked in there. He did a good job of making it fit in the box. And everything turned out well, man. You say you didn't put no packing material in there. Y'all forgot, but it looks nice and safe. So, if I can get it out of here, though. I'm going to bust the side of the box open. When he posted this, I was like, wow, that's really nice. I like it. It's a adult collector, retro action, real Ghostbusters set of... Janine Mildentz and Sam Hain. Look at that. It's going to be a lot of glare. I'll see if I can get the glare off for you guys. But it's based on a real Ghostbusters cartoon, which is great. I love the real Ghostbusters cartoon. This is from the later in the season when, um, season four, when Janine puts a suit on and she starts busting some goats. But this is the, uh, when did this come out? What year? Made by Mattel, 2011. It's like a figure set, and they got like the fabric clothes on. It's really nice. I like the little slimer in there, and the box is made up like the firehouse. So let's see if I can get y'all a look without all this glare. There we go. It's 
about as good as I can get right now. She's got her little PK intermeter and her ghost trap there and her proton pack on her back. She's got her famous glasses on. Got your little slimer there. You got Sam Hain, Sam Hain, the spirit of Halloween, one of their major nemesis on the show, and just a great set. It's a great set. I love it. Thank you very much. That's going to look great on the shelf. I'm not opening this. It would look great out of the package, but the package is part of the item, in my opinion. It makes the items look really nice. Look on the back. You got some great artwork. And the package looks like it folds out into a 22 inch firehouse like I was saying. Y'all see that there? This package, if you open it up, flip it inside out, turns into the front of the firehouse. So that's pretty cool. And now, what have you done, Mike? I'm going to have to get these other Ghostbuster team, you know, Ray, Egon, Peter, Winston. I'm going to have to get the retro figures of them and these really remind me of those uh is it um what do you call those oldie style like superhero figures uh can't remember right now drawing a blank amigo is it amigo figures we'll figure it out but that's very nice thank you very much for the trade for that item great ghostbuster fan over here as you can tell and i would a little put this on the shelf gladly and I got another strange package that arrived with this one he said I threw in something else for you and I was like okay you don't have to do that but look look that I was like what what is this went out to the mailbox and I was like what what is that well, I got a theory of what's in here let's look It's a poster. Oh yes. I'll check it out. Y'all not gonna be able to see it all. Let's see, let's see if I can display it as best as I can for you guys. It's the 30th anniversary Ghostbusters movie release poster. When it got released in theaters again a couple years ago. Uh, it was 2015, I believe. It was the 30th anniversary of Ghostbusters. But it looks a lot like the classic poster. This episode is 30th anniversary on it. And you got Ray and Peter and Egon there at the bottom. And the famous Ghostbuster title right there. Love it. It's a good quality movie style poster. And right at the top it says in theaters for well, one week only. Maybe he knew somebody had this. Mike must have knew somebody was selling this or something. Or I don't know. He said he wanted me to have it. So thank you very much. It is awesome. Presented in 4K in theaters. And I actually saw Ghostbusters a couple weeks ago at the local theater. They were doing a retro summer. And they were showing a lot of great 80s films. And this is great, man. i got to get me a frame for this and get it posted. So put it on the wall somewhere. I have no clue where I'm going to put it. i got an idea. I might frame it. And then I'll take down my Clockwork Orange poster and swap them out from time to time. So thank you very much, Mike Tap. All this stuff was cool and awesome, and I love it. And I got your trade coming your way. Everybody check the link in the description. Visit Angry Unboxing Nerd, and he tells it like it is. <laughs> so me, I'm pretty, pretty honest. Oh, I'm on all my unboxings, and you know if I get a sub box, I really tell you my opinion on some of it. But he's brutally honest, and I appreciate that. <laughs> so check out his channel. Thank you very much, Mike Tap, and come back and visit you, Geek and Neighbor, everybody, again. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye.